Hi, this is Gregor from Basewood.com and today we'll have a look at the Harley Benton PB50 Sunburst uh, bass from the Vintage series. So let's check it out. <laughs> If you are following this channel for a bit, you might be aware that I'm getting always very excited when I get to uh, review something affordable. And uh, that base here is uh, certainly affordable. Over the last couple of years, we had a lot of super expensive high-end boutique bases here, which are which is of course amazing. Uh, but I know in the real world, uh, there's much more people who would rather spend little money on an instrument because they can't afford or they don't want to spend so much money, which is absolutely okay. So um, to get these guys covered, um, let's check this out. This is by far the most uh, affordable bass that I've ever seen, probably. I, I've worked a couple of years in, in music retail and we never had a bass for this kind of money, even in our program. So this is a Harley Benton um, 50s P bass kind of uh, bass and it's just 109 euros, which is just crazy. I don't know how it even works. Um, but doesn't matter, let's just check it out what you can do with it. As on many very affordable uh, electric guitars and basses, we have a bass wood body here. Uh, bass wood is uh, yeah, used often for affordable instruments because it's a very affordable wood. So when you're buying instruments, yeah, you can keep the costs low and especially for a 109 euro bass, this might be necessary. However, bass wood is not a bad wood at all, a cheap wood. It's of course more affordable as I said, but uh, sound wise it's absolutely cool. It's kind of in the ballpark of older. Um, but from my impression, it has a slightly faster attack, so it's a little bit more snappy sounding and there's often a little bit of a mid-scoop going on. But I don't think it's bad at all. I've played a lot of uh, affordable instruments with baseboard body that sound actually really cool. So And this one too, so nothing bad about that. Um, the neck here is, uh, is a one-piece maple neck with a maple fingerboard. And uh, the entire bass, as you can see, is hauled in the classical style of a very early uh, Fender P basses, the 50s basses. That those had just one pickup, and that's basically an homage to uh, these old Fenders. <laughs> In case you're a little bit afraid uh, when you're buying such an affordable instrument that a lot of stuff will just not work or just will be very badly made, uh, don't worry about this. Uh, I spent some time with the space trying to find a mistake or something that's 
would show me why this base is so affordable, I couldn't find it. So this base, is, it's all fine, the, the finish looks great, everything seems very well made. Um, it's, it's just a very decent uh, made instrument. One specific thing about these old uh, early 50s uh, Fender P basses is uh, that they had immensely huge necks, uh, often referred to as baseball bats. And uh, it's the same here, which is kind of surprising. Um, of course, it's the concept of the bass, and I get what they put uh, such a huge neck on this. Sound-wise, it's cool. More neck would mostly, in most cases, uh, makes a bass sound more full, just sound better. Uh, but I think for a beginner's bass, which this uh, clearly is, um, I think something a little bit more slim would have been cool. So if you are one of the guys who are looking this, watching this video because you're thinking about buying a very affordable bass because you're a beginner, then you might switch to something like the Harley Benton JB75NA that we reviewed uh, some weeks ago. Um, this one has a very slim neck, it's super comfortable to play. Uh, maybe you want to start with this one. Otherwise, if you're here because you're looking for like this early 50s uh, P-Bass and you don't want to spend so much money, um, you will be very, very happy with this bass. The neck is actually really cool. It's not uh, lacquer finished, which is amazing, so it feels great. Um, the round uh, D shape or C shape is really cool. I love it. It feels great, but of course it's a neck that needs a little bit of fighting. So this is not a neck or not a base for fast slap stuff or fast stuff at all. Uh, this is a neck that will slow you down. And uh, on a psychological level, I always like this because uh, they make play, they make you play less and make you play more concentrated. Uh, we have 20 frets. We have of course a 34 inch scale and. Um, on the front we have uh, these black dot inlays. Uh, we have only one pickup, which is like the original classic early 50s had only this one single coil. Uh, we have one volume control, one tone control, it's all passive, that's it. Um, it's really a, a purist bass, so there's uh, not a huge range of sounds you can get off, out of it. But those who are usually playing these kind of basses are the ones who appreciate exactly that. They don't want to have all these options. They want to have a simple bass, a no-brainer, nothing to think about, nothing to, uh, no EQ to turn or anything like that. Just easy, simple, just focus on the playing, focus on the song, performance, whatever you want to do. I have to say, uh, this bass plays great, it sounds great. Um, there's nothing bad about it at all. I would like to find something because this is way too little money to spend for a bass, I think. Uh, but on the other hand, it, it seems to be possible for this little amount of money to build a decent bass, so uh, why not do it? Uh, kudos to the guys from Toman. Um, yeah, that's it. If you have any questions regarding this bass or regarding whatever else, uh, just leave them in the, in the comment section below. Uh, that's it for today. Have a wonderful week and uh, see you next time. Bye.